Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. Wake up to this altar daily to do your daily devotion and the prophetic blessings. Then use the Turning Point Prayer booklet to do a short Bible study and then how to read the entire Bible through systematically in, in a year. It will give you an overview of the Bible and bless your life tremendously. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Debbie on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. If you have not already done so, do so now. Those that have already subscribed, please keep renewing and resubscribing. Welcome also to Sunday, the nineteenth day in May twenty twenty four. Please open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent our way today and be responding with Amen. I receive it. Every aspect of your life calling for a divine touch will get it today. What looks like a problem and a concern in your space, God will turn it around. Anyone going to church service today, you shall be blessed in the church. God will send you his word. And those of us that will not be in church, wherever you are today, God shall get across to you. No TPGF members or listeners of Tony Point will lose out in what God will do today. You shall experience incredible presence of God wherever you are. There shall be increasing grace of God on everyone also. I prophesy to all my listeners, God will not only bless you, he will turn you into a blessing. I prophesy again to the heirs and lives of all, you shall stop nursing problems to start solving problems. I say, God, we turn you to a problem solver. I don't know who I'm speaking this one to. You will go from nursing problems to solving problems. Someone woke up today restless. You are anxious over certain things. That restlessness will go. God will intervene for you. Who is this? Your story will change from this week. Get ready for the change of story. I'm hearing this very strongly in my spirit now. A change of story is coming to a person, to a family. Your story will change. Something good is about to happen. Say amen. I am praying with a, a, a divine inspiration and with an anointed tongue. I say to somebody's life again, your story will change beginning from this week. Say amen. I receive it. Yes. Then say quietly to yourself. My story is changing from today. Say it again. My story is changing from today. Amen. Your family story, your children's stories, your health stories, your financial story will change positively forward from now on. Please note this prayer. It shall be answered. You will have a major testimony on it very soon. Please anoint yourself as you go to church or you go out today, even if you are going to remain indoor, anoint yourself. May 19, born people, your birthday prayers. I pray for you. Your life is blessed. Your birthday is blessed. You will live a fruitful, blessed, and purposeful life. All true. Happy birthday. Now, this is the 14th day of our teachings, doing question and answers. From tomorrow, we shall do testimony sharing. Please save the question of situations we have not been able to treat due to time to be sent next time when I announce teaching week. Then send your testimonies from today or resend the ones you sent before that time did not allow us to share. Testimony sharing is powerful. It inspires listeners to believe God also for their own miracle and divine intervention. It provokes God to do more for the testifier and prevent the devil from stealing the miracle. Because not testifying of what God has done, God takes it as an ingratitude. Be grateful to God. Tell us what God has done. He will do more for you. First issues for teaching today. Good evening, Daddy, and my TPGF members. I want to know the difference between chanting and speaking in tongues. Wow. Speaking in tongues is praying with a language you do not know nor learned before, and which also you don't understand. It is said to be praying in an unknown tongue. Like I once taught us here, speaking in tongue uh, is speaking in tongue is your spirit 
praying to God and your vocal cord releasing the word through your mouth, but your intellect is not involved, then chanting is praying continuously, monotonously, saying a thing over and over again with intensity, repeated intensity. For instance, Muslims chant their Quranic verses in their prayers. Then they say the same thing repeatedly, chanting their rost- rost- rostry. Then the diviners, the ifa priest and the witch doctor, they chant incantation repeatedly. So when you list out relevant Bible verses for praying, as you Google, you begin to pray it repeatedly, vigorously, with intensity. Then we are chanting in prayers. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, The effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail much. So speaking in tongue is praying in the Holy Ghost. Chanting prayers is warfare prayers. Saying it repeatedly, vigorously, continuously. Please do both. Next, I will likely be in UK in June. Please send me the phone numbers of the coordinating pastors for the conference for registrations. Wow, I like this. I want all TPJF members in UK and Europe and everyone to mobilize for this UK conference. Send these numbers to your loved ones in UK and in Europe. People you always uh, forward the turning point to every day. Now say, register me. Send an SMS, a chat, or a call to Pastor Franklin on plus four four seven nine five six five zero four five three six or Pastor Deola on plus four four seven four one 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 two eight four zero one. Say I'd like to be there. Please register me. Date for the conference June twenty one and twenty two. Venue Saint George's Church Hall. Church Street, Gravesend, D110DG. I look forward to seeing you and your people in this conference. Register and mobilize all your loved ones in UK and Europe to be in this conference. Next, another person. Please remind our daddy, Pastor Femi Manuel, to bring anointed mantle for us during the UK conference. We have gotten our T-shirt, wristband, and face cap ready. We are looking forward to the two days of glory, more anointing, sir, and journey mercies. Wow, I love this. Yes, I'm coming with plenty of anointed mantle from Nigeria and for praying and doing miracles. It will be given out free. Also, I am bringing more T-shirt, face cap, and wristband. Of course, you have to pay for those ones. TPGF, truly blessed. Two days of glory indeed. We are all looking forward to it. Next, many people have responded to the sex denial complaint by one of us. And many are still responding to the wife bearing husband's surname and even our 400 level son that wants to change to his dream course. I'm so happy for the interactive nature of the teaching weeks. Please feel free to make your contribution. This is a knowledge-based platform. Sir, let me read out as many comments on the conjugal issue as time will allow us. Sir, as regards the woman denying her husband of his conjugal right, I discovered most married women deny their husband because her husband do not understand their wife's love language. Sex for a woman starts from her mind. If the husband does not know how to capture his wife's mind through her love language, then their sex life will be a struggle. That is talk to husbands to take time to understand their wife's love language. With with that, men will see changes in their wife's sex desire and performance. Wow, this is a whole lecture. Thank you, husbands. I hope you hear. Next, another one. This is an interesting topic. Comments are so many here. I wish we have all the time to share all of them. Please, sir, the man that complained of his wife denying him his conjugal right should examine himself because he said his ex also did the same thing. If two women that do not know each other acted in the same manner, then the man should examine himself. Maybe he's too aggressive 
or there is lack of foreplay to prepare the wife. One more, concerning the man whose wife denies him his conjugal right, the man should learn how to arouse his wife by the act of foreplay. He said the wife allowed access only during ovulation. There is a message about that. Brother, please read books for erotic zones that turns your wife on and take advantage of them. Wow, we have so many married counselors and teachers on this platform. TPGF is so blessed. I advise that many of you should prepare to write books on this all-important subject. It's a big challenge in many marriages outside there. Thank you all for your contributions. We have all learned. Please rebroadcast this to contact on your contact. Do so daily. Join us online today in our two Sunday services via our social media platforms. Watch live or watch later, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9 to 11 a.m. Nigeria time. We are now receiving voice notes of testimony to be aired on our very many radio stations. Please open your WhatsApp and do that. Three things happen when you give testimony. God is glorified. Listeners' faith are inspired. Then you commit God to do more for you. The devil can steal a miracle if he fail to give the testimony. Please open your WhatsApp and in less than two minutes, record your testimonies loud and clear. Take your cell phone to where you can do it very loudly and put your phone close to your mouth so that it can be loud enough. Send it to plus two three four eight zero triple five eight three seven seven seven. Do so now and the whole world will be blessed listening to your testimony. TPGF UK conference is counting down as I have announced. Now have you paid your tight personal and corporate tithing uh, in your latest income? Please do so regularly. It is an obligation we owe God as long as we live. If you want us to send you uh, the commission's account and the WhatsApp details, send a WhatsApp message or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. I speak to everyone's lives today. Go and see the hands and the favor and the might and the strength of God in all you do. What God cannot do does not exist. God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.